God bless you. Hello, Bishop Wooden here. I'm back. I'm in the saddle. I just got back from one of the greatest marriage retreats that I, Pam and I, have, have ever been a part of. The Our Own Company Fellowship we gathered in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And for three days, we invested in each other's marriages. We strengthened one another's resolve to stay married to stand on the word of the Lord, to represent Jesus Christ, and to, to keep our homes together so that we can declare the word of the Lord. Because at the end of the day, we are called to engage the culture. We are called to stand on the gospel of Jesus Christ and biblical teachings. Now, as the body of Christ blends in, as we become more and more like the world, I'm calling for us to become enigmatic. I'm calling for the body of Christ, the believer, not to be like, I'm giving myself away tonight, the church at Laodicea. Yes, Laodicea, where the culture of the world uh, influenced the church more than the church influenced the culture of, uh, of Laodicea. So the, the wicked folk of Laodicea had more influence on the church folk uh, uh, at Laodicea than the church folk at Laodicea had on the, 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 the citizens of, of the city. Now, they were not enigma. They were not an enigma, the people of Laodicea. They were worldly. As a matter of fact, they were laid back. One of their slogans was, come on over here and join the good old people at Laodicea. And whatever you want to do, just come on in and do it. And it caused a, a mighty, mighty, major problem. Now, the problem with the behavior of the church at Laodicea is that Jesus compares the behavior of the church at Laodicea to the behavior of the last day church, the falling away. According to our Lord, many in the church, in the body of Christ, those who name the name of Christ, will become more like the world and will become more and more influenced by the world, then they will be influencers of the world and winning the world to Christ. Now, my friends, I know you see this. I know you see it happening every day. And in this day and time, with America being as divided as our country is, with all of the problems that we have from the White House to your house, from, from uh, uh, the, the richest neighborhoods to the poorest neighborhoods, problems with the, with the community and the police. We see uh, rulings and judgments and different things, the immorality problems, and these aren't problems that just started. These are problems that we here at the Upper Room have been talking about for years. And I want you to know, I, as a man of God, and I'm going to close with this, I, as a man of God, am not going to allow my moral authority to be challenged by being silent when someone uh, that I may like or dislike does something that I don't agree with, so all of a sudden I have nothing to say. And then when it's someone that I oppose, then all of a sudden, then there is something to be said. It doesn't matter to me who the president is. It doesn't matter to me who the elected officials are. The Bible is right. Let God be true and every man a liar. So tonight, I want you to come. We're going to study the word of God together. And we are going to be influencers of society. We are not going to fall away. Come on out to Bible study. <laughs> We're going to talk about it tonight. God bless you.